in this lesson we will talk about derivatives in pytorch so derivatives are used while upgrading the updating the parameters of the neural network so first let's start with uh, the definition of uh, derivatives in mathematics so uh, i will not go with the details of formula but uh, you must have seen this uh, derivatives by first principle where we have let's say a function f of a variable x then if we want to find the derivative of f with respect to x then we write it as d upon dx and it's defined as f calculated at some value so let's say we want to calculate the value of x at some value x0 so f x plus delta x minus fx divided by delta x where delta x is infinitesimally small so let's say if this is a function and this we want to find the derivative of this function at this point this axis is x this axis is fx and this point is x equal to x0 so the derivative of this function is different at different uh, values of x0 so here take the value of f at this point x0 and slightly to the right of it so here and then subtract this value so if x is very small it will be like a straight line so this value is fx and the the other values fx plus delta x because it is calculated at x and it is calculated at x plus delta x and this difference is delta x and if we make it smaller and smaller it will look like a straight line and then the difference is this height f x plus delta x minus f x this height and the this length is delta x so we are dividing this by this and it becomes tan theta and that is the slope in general if you have a simple uh, polynomial function like f x is let's say 5 x cube then df then the de derivative of this function with respect to x will be so whatever is the exponent bring it forward that is multiply with the coefficient so it becomes 15 and subtract this value by 1 so 15 x square so in general if uh, fx is cxn then f prime x this is the sort for this is n comes here so c n x raised to the power n minus 1 so let's take an example where let's say x is 5 y is x cube then dy by dx it will be 3 x square and we want to calculate it at the value of 5 so it will become 3 multiplied by 5 square or 75 and in pytorch we will uh, define x equal to torch dot tensor and then 5 and then we have to set requires grad parameter equal to true if we don't set it then uh, it will not keep track of uh, the derivative of this with respect to the higher functions the functions that are defined in terms of x so uh, you will define this then you will define y y equal to x raised to the power of 3 and then we will call y dot backward so this is the important function here in pytorch so as soon as we call uh, backward on a torch tensor then what it does it computes the gradient of this tensor current tensor y with respect to grad of y with respect to leaf tensors so in this case x is the leaf so y is the function which depends on x x does not depend on any other thing so this is a uh, smaller example but let's say we had a bigger example let's say uh, we have a is equal to 2 b is equal to a square c is equal to b cube 
so you see that c depends on b b depends on a so a is the leaf tensor so this is leaf so in this case we will define a equal to torch dot tensor 2 and requires grad equal to true then b equal to a square c equal to b cube and then we call c dot backward so we will shortly see an example of this in our uh, notebook then we can call a dot grad so we called y dot backward and then if we write x dot grad then it will return the same value 75 similarly here if we call a dot grad it will return dc divided by d a a is the leaf uh, tensor so gradient of this c tensor where we call backward with respect to leaf tensors so here a is the only leaf tensor so it will calculate dc by da let's calculate it here so dc by da you see that c is not a function of a here directly it's indirectly a function of a but not directly so we can use the chain rule so dc by da is same as dc by db multiplied by db by da now you see that dc by db is 3 comes here 3b square multiplied by db by da is 2a now the value of b is a square which is 4 value of a is 2 so this value will become uh, 3 times 16 b square multiplied by 2 times 2 4 so it's 64 times 3 is uh, 64 times 3 192 so this will come 192 a dot grad now uh, we have seen uh, derivatives let's see partial derivatives so in our earlier example we had seen uh, only functions which are uh, depending on one variable so these are functions of one variable we can have uh, functions of more than one variable also uh, let's say we have uh, a function we have two input tensors u u equal to 1 v equal to 2 and let's say we have f u v which depends on u and v u square 2v plus 1 so in this case uh, we have to take derivative of this function with respect to its variables so in that case we will take partial derivatives so here the symbol changes from this d to this del so we write df uv by del u so when we are taking the derivative with respect to u we treat all the other variables as constant so in this case v is the only other variable so we treat uh, v as a constant so this entire thing is a constant and the derivative of a constant with respect to a variable will be 0 so this will be simply 2u and the derivative of partial derivative of f with respect to v then treat u as constant so it's 2v plus 1 so plus 1 is uh, derivative is 0 then it simply becomes 2 so in the same way here we will define uh, x uh, u v as tensors torch dot tensor require grads equal to true similarly for v then we will define f u v and then we will call f u v dot backward so it will calculate the derivative of this f u v with respect to leaf tensors which are u and v and uh, when we call u dot grad it should print this value 2u that is 2 and when we call v dot grad again it should print 2 both are 2 but due to different regions here it's 2 times u and u is 1 so it's 2 here it's always 2 so now let's uh, write these in google collab notebook so first we need to import torch then let's define uh, some function let's say 
x torch dot tensor 5 requires grad equal to true and uh, y equal to x cube and then we call y dot backward and then we can print x dot grad and it's 75 we had uh, i have taken the same example so in the example also we had got 75 now let's take another example where uh, it's not the leaf is uh, somewhat away from uh, so basically i'm trying to take this example Uh, a b c so c depends on b b depends on a so a is the leaf so we are only allowed to access a dot grad on and not b dot grad when we call c dot backward so a So a is 2, b is a square, c is b cube. then we call c dot backward and then a dot grad so we get 192 the same value that we had got here and if you see that if you try to call b dot grad which is not a leaf it would throw some error some warning like the grad attribute of a tensor that is not a leaf tensor is being accessed so let's delete it now let's uh, come to uh, partial derivatives so let's define a few tensors u equal to and v has a value of 2 and f u v is u square plus 2 v plus 1 and then we call f u v dot backward and then we call u dot grad which is 2 and v dot grad which was also 2 so i hope uh, you understood this uh, dot backward and uh, calculating the gradients of a function with respect to leaf tensors it will be very useful while updating the parameters of the neural network